Right, here we are, I've just arrived in Rochester. Manager, Southeast of the Railway. Yeah. Follow us on Twitter. Train, train, just got off. Just going to find our way to the cathedral, which is right next to the castle. Right, here we are at the beginning of our four day marathon from Rochester Cathedral to Canterbury Cathedral. Brother Lord Keith is doing it in aid of. Uh, Macmillan Cancer Relief. So he's got a Just Giving page, Keith. What's yeah. that then? Um, just Giving Keith Welch. <laughs> there you go. Just Giving Keith Welch if you want to donate. A very worthy cause. Uh, we're going to start off in, well, we've just arrived by train, so we're going to start off right from here. So I'll just give you a little quick panorama. And over the road there we've got Rochester Castle. And of course, behind us. Just a cathedral. So, we'll keep you posted. Oh, here we are on the Medway Bridge. Turn it around, it's a rather noisy, noisy set up there on the original bridge here. We look across the motorway now, so there's lovely cars teaming into Kent. I've always wanted to walk down here and have a look, see what's down here. So, uh, We've just walked all the way along that river frontage there and we're going to go and around slowly and lift it up. Go. Here we are, Robin Hood Pub. Enjoying a pint of shandy. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Karen. Karen. Cheers, darling. Appreciate that. Lovely. That's refreshing. Mm. Hits the spot as I used to the name. There it is, Robin Hood Pub. Approaching the uh, Kitts Coty, which is a, the remains of a Neolithic burial chamber. It was much bigger than this, apparently. And that's all that remains. Uh, used for burying the uh, local f farming community, I believe. It's, uh, fenced off for its own protection, so don't put graffiti on it and wrecking it. But very, 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 very old. Right, this is a legendary white horse stone. Uh, this is where the Kent got its actual emblem from. It's supposed to have one time resembled a horse's head. And the, the, I think he's a Viking king horse. Uh, supposed to have been killed at the Battle of Ailsford. And they laid him on the stone and it turned red. So he got a white horse on a red background, which is uh, Invicta. Or Invicta man, like me. So there, yeah, that's where it came from, all from this little stone. Yeah, not a lot to see from this angle. But there it is. The legend of the White Horse Stone. <clears throat> Doesn't look much like a horse to me, but perhaps one time it did a few hundred years ago. Right, we just turned out one of those boring parts of our walk down to this lovely view again here. Got a field of poppies. Right in the middle of this. 
this lot. Goes both ways. Through there as well. Down down this dry path here. So it cuts straight through that field there, does it? Very young vineyard. Acres and acres of it. Kind of swing right the way around. All of it here. Around to the tree line. Tree work there. And up over the brow of the hill there. Over all the keys that's uh, been blocked. So we come from France at all in Kent. I've right, just come to the end of day one in the village of Boxley. Quite quaint, a nice little church. Typical English telephone box. And a pub. Up to the right here. Yeah. It's a pretty little place. Super location, super really, really quiet here. Yeah.